What's up, you guys? Today we are here in Ascot. We've got delays on most of our jobs, so we've come here today to do this little garden wall for a friend of a friend. We're going to hand dig it. We're going to knock the ballast up by hand, and then we're going to build it. It's got a brick on edge with a tile creasing on top, uh, and it is recessed joint, so it's raked out, brushed off nice and clean. Let's go. So that's been dug. This job coincides with Rob having time off because he's not very well at the moment. Um, and the mix is being used on the other job. So we're going to knock the concrete up by hand as well. It's nice to get out and do a bit, get the heart rate pumping. Um, we're going to get our foot in, we're going to get the start kicks up. Teamwork, dream work. All goes up. Tag me in. So a lot of people struggle with how much concrete you'll need for your footings. Whether it's a little one like this or a big house, it doesn't matter. The time is a linear meterage, the length, by the width of the footing, so 600 or whatever. That'll give you your square meterage. Times that by the depth of the footing, so say 0.3 or 0.6 or whatever it is. That'll give you your square meter, so your cubic meterage. What you want to do for ballast, and, and so ballast and cement, you need to times that number by 1.8 and it will give you the, the tonnage you need to, to do your footings. It's nice and simple. Start at 8 o'clock, finish at 12, that's not a bad morning's work. Who says bosses don't craft? Get that line up. People think you've got your own company, you just sit back and count the money and it's not true. Rob's off this week, which means we've all got to muck in. I'm on the hodder week, um, we've knocked this footing up by hand. I'm on the mixture all day today, loading up bricks and whatever else. We've got to do what we've got to do to get the job done. Like I say, when you're a small company like we are, you've just got to get a job over the line. So we put polythene down under all the spot boards, and down this way, and on the road. Working on site, it doesn't. It don't matter too much because the groundwork gets done at a later date. When you're working on people's properties, it's a little bit different. You need to be a bit more mindful about your surroundings and whatever else. And this is somebody's drive, so you've got to keep it nice and clean. Um, just got to be a little bit more mindful when you're working residential. Bit up, mate. Bit up. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> we're coming off the existing brickwork. Our coursing's all there. That one's set to that. Lovely, level from there over to the pier. How about that, Chris? Oh, fantastic! So has been working hard here, and you. into old brickwork you need to make sure the jointing is exactly the same on this it's what we call reset it's what's called recessed or raked out we're going to use one of these this is a brand new one it even comes with a little nail on it right? this is called a chariot or raker what you're going to do is you're going to push this nail in until it hits this until it hits the up hits the existing joint you're going to tighten it up and you're going to what you do is you're going to do all the perps Wheel them along, all the beds, you end up, you end up with the exact, you end up with the exact same thickness as what's on the existing, all right, and we're going to get a nice stiff brush, and we'll give it a nice stiff brush, and we're going to go over it again with a nice soft brush, I'm going to get our little small, to our little um, finger trail, and we'll go over and we're just going to top and tail it all, make sure it's lovely, all right. It's horse hair. This is our old one, it's all worn down, it's a bit stiffer, and this is what we finish it off with. We'll give that nice, nice um, stiff brush, get out any of the lines from the nail. Go all the way over with that, 
I'm going to use the softer one just to polish it up. Look, that comes up lully. Makes a change to get off of big houses and do something a little bit different, a bit of small works. Let me know what content you lot want to see because I want to create stuff that you lot want to watch. This one's done, the hard landscaping's in, hand dug, built, recessed, job done. See you next week.